Hi guys, it's uh, Denise here, and um, I'm ready for another painting. So today we're going to do um, an easy uh, winter landscape kind of night scene. Um, I'm going to do it on this, I can't remember, I think it's 5 by 7 canvas. And today I'm going to paint it this way. So hamburger, not hot dog way hamburger way. Okay, got that? I'm going to draw it out first um, and then we'll get to painting. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, kids ages, let's see, 8 to 13, 14 should be able to do this. Probably a little bit younger, maybe even 12. Uh, should be simple. And uh, we're going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial. And I'm going to list the picture that we're going to do um, below and the materials that you need. So, like I said, I'm using a 5x7 canvas. You can get it at the dollar store, Dollarama. I've got my palette here with blue, white, and black. Those are the three colors that we're going to use. Your paint brushes can be whatever is easiest for you. You would probably need a bigger paintbrush for the background, just so you know. Uh, you might need a ruler. I'm gonna use mine. As you can see, I've got some paint on it. So I'm gonna use my ruler, just so I know where I want the sky to end. It's very helpful. Okay, so. Let's get at this. I'm going to change my uh, camera around. right where it should be. There. Okay. Okay, we are ready. So, I'm going to move that out of the way. Because we don't need that there. Okay. So, I'm going to draw where my sky is going to be. So the sky is going to be like about three quarters of the way down from the top and a quarter of the way up. I'm thinking that is straight enough. So we're just going to draw a light line with pencil. And we can paint over that, that's not a big deal. So if you want, you can draw your trees in. Um, you're probably not gonna be able to see them very well, but if you go over lightly, you can. Um, I'm not gonna bother putting my trees in right now, but you can. Um, I'll walk you through how to paint the trees. So, like I said, I've got my white, my blue, and my black, this is Mars Black, and I think it is, uh, it just says white. Okay, <clears throat> and this is just a dark blue. I, I like this blue, oh, you can get different kinds of blue, like cobalt, that kind of thing. Um, whatever kind of blue you would like. We are going to mix it a bit with uh, the dark black to make it a bit darker. And then we're gonna go lighter. Oh, my 
paper towel is ready to wash off my, dry off my brushes. I have water to rinse my brushes with. Just in a, just in a cup. Okay. Um, if you want, you can ask to borrow your blow dryer. That helps. I am going to use this brush. So this is the brush I'm going to use today. It's a bit bigger. So we're going to do my background. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to mix a little bit of my black in my blue. And we're going to make it a bit dark. See that color? It's a bit dark. We're going to go across here. Like I said, you can use a little bit of uh, water to make it spread. And I need to mix a little bit more black, a little bit more blue. It's taking a bit more. So we're going to come right down to this line. Try not to go past this line. If you do, it's not a big deal. But try to stay where that line is, right above it. There we go. I went down a little bit there, and that's okay. So while we're waiting for that to dry for a little bit, I might need to use my uh, dryer, but that's okay. We'll do. Mix a little bit of blue and some white. Now we're going to go on the bottom. You want it a little bit lighter than that. So this is going to be our hills. We're putting blue on there just so snow shows up a bit. Now you don't have to have it exactly straight. We are going to make hills. So what you want to do is you want to go over this part with like this with your brush to make it hills. Because this is where you're going to put your trees. There's another one. Now when that dries, we're gonna go over it with a bit of white for sure. So. Here we go. Okay, so that's your bottom of your landscape right there. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna use my uh, dryer to dry this off really quick. Okay, I'm going to rinse, I want you to rinse your brush off, dry it, and now we're going to go a little bit lighter 
with our blue for our sky. <clears throat> and then we're going to do our snow. Now this may take a couple of layers. Don't get in a rush. Painting is good to relax and enjoy yourself. Smooth it out. There's a big blob of it right there. Smooth that out a bit. Smooth it out. We've got that much done. You can use a little bit of purple if you want in the sky. You don't have to. So what we're going to do now is work on the snow. I'm going to let that dry a bit. So I'm going to rinse off my brush now. You have to rinse off your brush really well. Get all that blue out. Uh, you can also use a wipe. Wipes are very handy for painters. So I'm going to use a wipe just to make sure I can get all that extra blue paint out. Okay, now I'm going to use just white. If a little bit of blue is in there, don't worry about it. It's not going to hurt. in pictures snow has a bit of a hue and depth to it so it's not going to be just perfect white Okay, make sure you go up where your hills are. I have a little bit of bump there in my uh, canvas, but we're just gonna paint over that. And now I've got a little bit of white dot in my sky, but that's okay. I can paint over that. Remember what I always say, white is a great eraser. So now we have to let that sit for a minute and we are going to rinse this brush off and get a different one. We're gonna make the moon. So I'm gonna grab a different paintbrush I'm going to try this one as a number four. And I'm going to grab, that should be dry. If it's not dry, actually, you know what? I might just, yeah, I'm going to dry this really quick. Hold on. Oops. Goodness. 
Okay, I'm gonna grab some white paint and I'm gonna put my moon like not quite in the middle. It doesn't matter where you put it, but remember you're gonna paint your trees too. So I'm gonna put it right here and I'm going to do this. We're making the rings around the moon. You ever see that in the night sky? So obviously we have to go over that to make it white. So I'm rinsing my brush again. I'm gonna dry it. a circle blue comes through white paint really easily um, you really have to dry it a few times to make it kind of stay where it's supposed to be and it doesn't show through so this is the moon itself now I'm gonna go around again And it's okay if it's a little bit like that. You kind of want it to be. So add a little bit of water to this part to make it kind of see through a bit. Kind of blend in together because we want it to look like moon shining in the night. Use a little bit of white for this. There is moon shining in the night. See? Nice, hey? So I'm going to let that dry and now we're going to go over our snow again. Make sure your brush is rinsed well so we don't have any blue streaks. You can leave a little bit at the top there if you want, just to show the, the shadows at the top. So there is quite a few shadows there, but it's going to take a little bit of coverage from this white paint with the blue underneath. So I'll let that sit again. And I'm going to dry it. With your little brush again you should have rinsed it off I'm gonna grab some white again and we're gonna go around this moon and we're gonna make it whiter now moons aren't completely white the moon sometimes it has like gray and blue hues to it so it's okay if it's not completely white so next time that uh, you see the moon out I want you to have a look at it 
and notice that it has a little bit of gray and a little bit of blue in it and some white. So we can go around this again if you want. I'm going to go around it a little bit. <coughs> Okay, I'm going to rinse off my brush. Now, we're going to do the trees. We're going to do them in white first. Uh, no, we're not. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to do them in black. Black should stand out in there. Okay. Okay. Let's get your black on your small brush again. And you can put your trees wherever you want. Uh, I wouldn't put it in front of your moon. I'm gonna put mine here and we're gonna go all the way up and you can branch off here like that. And you can come down like right here if you would like right to the top of your snow. Now I've got two branches there and we're gonna go another branch right there and another branch right there. You could put on here however many branches you would like. Don't go too crazy with it. So that's so far. I might put one right here. Now I'm going to put my other tree here. See, I can't see that very well. This way, there we go. I had to move my light. And then we're gonna go this way. And this way. I'm gonna make it a little bit different than this one. Because trees are not all alike. And there we go. And then I'm gonna put another one right here. It's okay, put those off the canvas a bit. And I'm gonna put another one branch there and another one here. Now, if you wanna do a skinny branch, go this way sideways with your paintbrush and it should give you a skinny little branches. And don't put too much paint on your brush. Okay. So that one's not too bad. Now, we're going to go over this a bit more. And I want to make sure your brush is well washed and rinsed. Now we're going to go over the snow again. This should be the last time we have to do this. It's okay to have a little bit of blue in there underneath because it looks like there's like different depths to the snow. And I've got like little path here it seems. I'm noticing some blue sticking out so I'm going to make that into 
little path. <clears throat> And then we're going to go like this, and this way, there. If you want to make a little path, just put some paint right where you see the blue in the middle. And come up with your snow like this. Make a little pathway. And if you don't have the blue sticking out, you can put a little bit of blue there. Just not a lot. Just be careful with it. Don't go crazy with it. Oops. See, my paint's starting to lift. <clears throat> okay. Now, I'm going to dry that. Here's where you need your fine brush again. You're going to make the shadow of the trees. So you need your small brush. And I'm going to mix some white and a little bit of black. Okay, so I've mixed a little bit of white and a little bit of black. Probably need a little bit more than that. Because we need to make three trees. Okay. So if it's dark, that's fine, because it's gonna be the shadow. Okay, so this part, I want you to go right under where the tree is. Now we're just doing the trunk of the tree, so you might have to you might have to use a little bit of water for that. Just you know. I'm using a little bit of white just to smooth it out a bit. Okay, now I'm going to do the next one. So we start kind of big and then we change the direction of our paintbrush and we're going smaller and thinner. If you need to, you can use a little bit of water. Just be careful you don't thin it out too much. Be 
because then you're going to have to go over it again. And I can see that there's a little bit of paint kind of thinning out a bit. Okay, this is my last one. This one doesn't seem to want to spread. Again, I'm starting out with the big end and then I'm going to the smaller direction. Big, small. So with the gray, you want to make a little bit lighter. Now we're going to go shadow. If you need to, you can use a smaller brush. We're going to do the shadow on the tree. So this is where the moonlight is touching the trees and the branches. So. Like that, and then it's probably touching here, and maybe a little bit here. And probably on this side too. And on this side. Probably a little bit on the end here. Probably not all the way. And probably just a little bit on the end here. See, that's what your tree is gonna look like when the light hits it. So again, I'm just, I'm mixing more white into my gray that I already made. Now, make sure you have paint on the top of your paintbrush. And you're gonna do on this side now. This side, not as easy for me to do. So it's gonna be right there. And it's probably gonna be on this side of the branch. And it might be on there, on the very tip. Don't think it's gonna go all the way down. And then it's gonna be on this side, right? It's changing. And then it's going to be on the tip of this one. And right here. It's going to be all the way down here, I think. And then maybe up here a little bit. And then up here. And maybe just a smidge up here. See, that's what your tree is going to look like there. So now I'm going to get a little bit more. And we're going to have some more on this side here. Oops. This one might go all the way here like this. Okay, so. It's going to be like this. I'm going to need a little bit of water. And I have to see where my branches are. Oh, they're going. Another branch. That's going to be up here. This one will probably go right in the middle there, I think. And then this one here. the tips of this one and then the tip of that one because it's far away. So what I'm going to do now to fix up that tree, I'm going to put a little bit more black right here at the bottom. 
And we're going to make the trees a little bit different at the bottom, kind of like the roots, kind of. Yeah, if you do the roots a bit or whatever you got there, like I have there, you're going to need to go over that with a little bit of um, gray, just so where the sun, the moonlight is hitting. I think I went a bit too far with that over here. Okay, so now we're going to go... A little bit more gray. We're gonna highlight just the bottom. And we're gonna highlight this part. And we're gonna highlight this part here. There we go. So we've got that much done. I think I'm gonna do a little bit on this slide because it's kind of like reaching out over there. <clears throat> So now we can do some, well, you can do stars or you can do snow. Um, so, well, it wouldn't, well, it might be snowing if it's moonlight, but probably not. So for your snow, I would either get a little small brush end. Uh, or we can do... This is what I like to do with stars. So, for stars, we're going to put a little bit of water on here. Yeah, my water is a bit blue, but that, that's okay. And you want to mix, make it really watery, and then you want to go like, this or like this. There we go. We're sprinkling it. There's your stars. Probably should have done the stars before the trees. <laughs> but if you want it to look like snow, it can be look like snow. So either way, it doesn't matter. Kind of looks like snow. There's my... Um... If you want it to fix your trees like I'm going to right now, I'm going to go over with the black so it looks like stars. Do the stars first unless you want snow and then you can do it as snow totally up to you it's your painting make it your own you're the artist I didn't have to fix too many of them so that's okay not bad this part here I guess Okay, oh, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna make this shadow, I think, a little bit bigger at the bottom. Because we have a bigger base. That's if you made the bigger base, that's totally you didn't that's fine I don't think I've got any more gray so I'm gonna have to mix a little bit of white a little bit of black a little bit of black a little bit of black okay so 
still doesn't want to stick. Huh? Might have to dry that off a bit. This one I went a little crazy with the base, so we'll have to do that. And we'll make this a little bit bigger. Now your tree doesn't have to be exactly straight either, like. <clears throat> Arrange the base. There. I think I need to dry that and try again. There we go. And I'm just gonna do Now, you always have to sign your artwork. And I'm going to use one of my markers, I think that might be green. I don't want green. I think I have a marker in here. And I'm going to sign it with blue. And my initials and the date. And there you go. There's your artwork. Winter scene with trees. I hope Thanks for joining me today. I really had a lot of fun with you guys. And um, I hope that you enjoyed yourself too. I would love to see your paintings and how they turned out. I have some really great ideas for um, some winter painting that I would like to teach you guys. If you have any questions, just um, ask your mom or somebody, uh, if you're allowed to do it, ask me some questions on my Facebook page and my group, if your mom's a part of it. Uh, other than that, I really hope you join me for the next time. Thanks guys, bye.